Hey everybody, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and finally I have the Mistletoe and Holly album finished for you. We're going to start in the cover here. Um, the cover page, I really loved this print, so I wanted to showcase it on the cover. I went ahead and added a dimension, clear dimensional glue on top of all, <clears throat> excuse me, all of the berries. And in addition, I fussy cut these elements from the collection pack. These are part of the, this was fussy cut from the collection pack. This is Bits and Bobs collection pack. Um, this is the ephemera. And this was fussy cut from the collection pack. So I just kind of layered all of these. And, the, and you can see how I accomplished that in the cover video. There is the back panel. And then here, it, I mean the spine panel. And here is the back. <clears throat> Okay, we've got this beautiful print here, and this is really pretty to put matted photos on. I kind of did a little test when I was building the page. Here's page one. I used one of the Bits and Bobs um, cards here. I've got a nice insert for a photo or journaling. And then over here, we've got another of the Bits and Bobs. You get two of each. And then I forget which way it opens. There we go. We've got lots of photo space in here. Okay. And then we've got this pocket over here. So that is page one. Page two. Got two shallow pockets here on the cover. I love this clock. I think it's really pretty. And then these open out. And then they also open to the left and right. That is, if I can get a hold of it. There we go. Okay. Here is page three. Got a nice big panel. These are nice photo mats. And then you've got a belly band with a nice large um, photo mat inside of it. Oops. Doesn't want to go over the... There it goes. Okay. Okay, page four is just two nice photo mats, flat, and then this is a simple card layout. Okay. Page six, again, we're using the bits and bobs. I've got a diagonal pocket in here, and I did a diagonal pocket because of the way the print worked, um, and you'll see that in the build video. Um, I don't have a whole lot of paper left, but I do have enough to cover this insert, so I'll probably go back and do that. I forgot I hadn't done it. Okay, this opens up and down. And on the other side, same thing. It opens up and down. So you've got room, a lot of room for photos in this particular layout. That kind of lends itself to the um, overall to the... Uh, Eight and a half by ten and a half. Okay, this opens up and down. We've got two pockets left and right. So I've got, um, I did a couple of the cards, and then I also wanted to do something that was a little bit bigger that would kind of hold everything together. So that sort of keeps the cards from sliding around. Okay, and then the last page, page eight which has a very short video because I, I hit the play button, but I didn't realize my camera was set to photo, so it wasn't recording. Um, but I walked over where the paper came from and the size of the panels, and there's also banners that indicate the size of each of these flaps as well. Okay, and then I just used the second 12 by 12 that I had for the back here. And that finally is mistletoe and holly. I'll do my best to get uh, my next one out a little bit sooner. I um, up, uh, upgraded um, my camera and it's behaving a little bit differently than um, my previous one in terms of uh, in, uh, importing to my computer so I can do my editing. So I, I struggled with it a little bit, but hopefully I've gone through that learning curve with this album and we'll get the next one out a little bit sooner. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create. A couple of things to remind everyone. If you go to the show more in the description, you're going to first see the material list, and that's going to be followed by the cut list for this project. In addition to that cut list, I also run banners during the tutorials 
that tell you what you need to cut if you don't want to pre-cut. And as always, we appreciate your business over at scrapandcreate.com. Um, everything you see here is available in stock. And I look forward to getting my next video out for you guys soon. Thanks again. Bye-bye.